Well, we're underneath the hood of a 1967 Camaro convertible. Uh, really a fantastic car. Uh, this car has a lot of originality to it, and it does have all the paperwork, which we'll get into later. Um, it does have small block Chevy in it. We believe it to be the original engine that this car was born with. It's a 327, uh, 210 horse. Um, we put an engine dress up kit on it. It came with the original uh, painted valve pan covers and air cleaner which also go with the car. They are in the trunk, the original air cleaner and valve pan covers. The only thing we've changed on it and breather cap. Made it look a lot nicer with an engine dress up on it. Brand new power brake booster on it. New master cylinder with the dual stages on it. The pr new proportioning valve also uh, for the braking system on it. Uh, new belts throughout, uh, power steering belt, uh, which it does have power steering, and uh, alternator belt, and the water pump also. New hoses, top and bottom on the radiator, the correct radiator shroud that came with this car. <coughs> it still has the original style uh, heater hoses that uh, are functional for the uh, heat for the uh, passenger co compartment. A new battery, uh, new battery terminals with it also. Uh, just a really nice clean engine compartment. No leaks evident whatsoever. Not on the uh, uh, timing chain cover in the front or the uh, intake manifold. Valve pan covers obviously are brand new with the uh, uh, new thick uh, cork neoprene type uh, gaskets that came with it. Cast iron exhaust manifolds, the original equipment type that would have come with this car. We believe it to be the original engine in the car. New power steering uh, uh, hoses on it, uh, new uh, rag joint on the uh, uh, shaft for the uh, steering shaft. Uh, there's never been any trauma at all whatsoever in the front of this car. The original radiator core support is still intact. No marks or dings or anything in the radiator itself. A great engine compartment. Everything appears to be original, a little bit dressier now, certainly, than it was in 67 uh, with the painted pans and the black uh, little air cleaner on it that gives it a lot of pop, too, with this uh, engine dress up kit. But a great running, fantastic small block Chevy in the correct style engine compartment. Let's go around the rest of it. Hi, you're Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida, and today our special guest is a 1967 Camaro. Uh, it's somewhat of a base car as it started life, and we dressed it up to look as it does now. It has a collar induction hood on it, it has the front spoiler, rear spoiler, Z28 style striping on it, so it's got a lot of pop instead of being a plain Jane looking car. It still retains its uh, original style drive line in it, automatic shift. Power steering, power brakes, fantastic car to drive with a lot of look to it right now. So let's go over it and see what I can show you. The paint on this car is absolutely phenomenal and that you can see from the video. Again, the fender to the hood to the front uh, the fit on this car is just exemplary. It's very, very nice. There's a, about an eighth of an inch the whole way around. You can see the whole way around the collar induction hood on this whole way up to the cowl area and the striping and everything is just a foot deep. The paint is absolutely beautiful. Chevrolet designation for Camaro. Uh, the grill is all nice. No pieces missing. Um, just as nice as could possibly be. That cheese grater type grill that you have in the front uh, is absolutely nice. There's nothing. The lights, the uh, parking lights themselves are crystal clear, basils around the headlights and the grill area, the uh, aluminum part, the anodized part, just as it was when it was new. I don't feel any marks or dings or anything whatsoever in this car. Bumper fitment is well you can find one much better than that. That's that's gonna be about as good as it's gonna ever get for a Camaro. Bumper fitment absolutely is gorgeous. You know, laterally it's fine, and uh, horizontally it's just as nice as can possibly be. Vertically also, I mean. Um, new spoiler in the front, and it's the resilient material type instead of the cheaper plastic one. So if you would happen to hit something, it's not going to break. 
you paid a little bit more to get the resilient type of uh, material instead of the cheap plastic one. Front end of this car is just absolutely stunning. It's, there's nothing that you could possibly find uh, a negative on, on the front end of this vehicle. Uh, great color combination, great Z28 style striping on a Camaro convertible with a Kyle induction hood. I don't know how much better it's going to get than that. Let's get that aside. Okay, driver's side of our Camaro convertible. You can see the paint on this car is just absolutely stunning. It's beautiful paint on this car. 327 with cross flag designation because that's what's in it. 327 engine. Correct wiper arms and blades for the car also. Fitment to the door to the front fender is not going to ever get any better than that. That is absolutely fantastic. To the cowl, to the hood, to the fender, everything is just fitting right spot on. Trim around the uh, windshield. No marks whatsoever. Tinted window in this car. The um, padded dash on it is nice and resilient. No cracks, no marks, no distortion whatsoever on it. Nice freshly uh, done steel part of the dash where it transitions onto the base of the windshield <coughs> is absolutely as it was when it was new. There's no dirt whatsoever. It's just all nice and clean. No wipe marks or anything on the glass itself. It must have been replaced surely through the years somewhere and that's why this is all so clean. Um, just absolutely perfect in the front. Wing and trim around the wing is just as nice as you'd ever want to find. Correct style bow tie mirror, round one for 1967. The whiskers wipes are just as nice as they could possibly be. They've probably been replaced at some point. They're absolutely as new condition. The fitment where the rubber goes on to it is spot on. It's really nice. Door handle. No marks, no, no distortion, no uh, patina, whatever you want to call problems in the chrome. Look at this fitment of the door to the quarter panel. Totally amazing. And that's as nice as you're ever going to get a door to fit on any car. I don't care what kind of car it is. That's as good as it'll ever get. Rocker panel molding, nice and straight. No dents or dings or anything in it. No distortion on the side of it. Straight as an arrow. All tin. All tin. No bondo at all anywhere. This car is just a nice, solid, solid car. Uh, quarter panel paint on it is just as nice as you'll ever find like the rest of this car this the whole car is this way we're going over this but uh, the, the entire car I know we're not going to find a chip a mark a deviation in anything it's just as nice as you'd ever want to find torque thrust style polished or chrome plated I'm not sure which I'm going to call them chrome uh, torque thrust style wheels uh, with a nice set of BFG uh, TA radials on it uh, to go with this uh, ensemble and it's just a fantastic fantastic uh, uh, car so far the top is down uh, Devin took some pictures of it earlier and you'll see still pictures of the uh, vehicle with the top up the top is new it is absolutely as new all the seals are nice on it um, we generally try to do it with the top up but in this case it's down so uh, I'm telling you the top is new and there's no issues no problems whatsoever on it let's see what's on the back Okay, the back end of our 1967 Camaro convertible. Again, you can see the fitment of this rear deck. It's absolutely spot on. It could not possibly be any nicer. Spoiler really adds a lot of look to this car. A lot. The black Z28 style striping. Um, trim around your tail lights. The tail lights themselves are nice and clean and clear. Trim around it where they usually have some uh, pitting whatsoever. In the chrome, this has absolutely none. Mumper fitment, just like the front, absolutely spot on. You know, what's going on here? Have to check that gas filler lid out. That should be either horizontal or vertical, and it's not. It's at a 45 degree, so we have to find out what's going on with that. Bumperettes in the back are nice and straight. The uh, rear valance has no pulls or no bends, no dings whatsoever in it. The back end of this car is just like the front. It's absolutely spot on. There is nothing that you're going to find a flaw in. We're halfway, a little over halfway, two thirds of the way through with this car. I've yet to find a stone chip or an imperfection in the paint anywhere. We got one more side, so let's see if we can find something there for you.
Okay, our last side, passenger side. Again, look. All original tin. Nice as can possibly be. Also around the uh, back end of this vehicle, the trim that goes around the base of the convertible top is just as it was around the windshield in the front. Nice and clean and clear just the way it should be. Again, the wipes whiskers are nice as you'd ever want to find. This is amazing. Look at this. Look at this. The way the door fits to the quarter panel. Chrome on the handle the same way. White whiskers. Same as the other side. Trim, nice resilient rubber yet on the, uh, and it's original too. This has not been replaced. Nice and resilient rubber and seals on this vehicle yet. Uh, trim around the windshield on this side, the same as the other side, the same as the base of the windshield. Uh, original equipment type uh, antenna that came on the car. A little bit of patina on it. There's a little tiny bit around the base of this uh, uh, antenna. Paint on the door. Wow. I don't know how you'd find anything any nicer than this. And again, look at this. Holy crap. You will not find a better fitting car than this. I don't care what car it is or where you look, it's not going to have a better fitment than the deck, the hood, and the doors on this car. All the panels fit as they should. 327 designation with our cross flags. Back where we started. Uh, there's not one single stone chip. I, I can't find an imperfection in the paint anywhere. I can't see any dents, deviations. Uh, no imperfections whatsoever. This, this car is it, it, it's as nice a one as you'll ever, ever find. Um, it's not a car that you're going to take out, even though it looks like it will take it itself and tear the tires off of it. This car is not going to do that. It has the original equipment style, 210 horse 327 engine in it. It runs and idles and stops and does everything it's supposed to. It has a nice dual exhaust system that gives you a little bit of a rumble to it, but not objectionably loud. What's really neat about this car is we do have and we do retain the original paperwork for this car when it was sold new. So we have the holy grail of all GM uh, documents, the protect the plate, that's still with the warranty book that goes with this car along with the original bill of sale and the original owner's manual in its original pamphlet. So everything documentation wise goes with this car. You're buying a convertible that has a Z28 style look to it in a fantastic condition car. You'll not find a nicer condition car than this vehicle. It is not a high performance car per se. It's a car that anyone can take out and drive and have a great time with and put the top down and, and, and enjoy. Um, we're going to do an undercarriage uh, presentation for you and an interior presentation, which will be easier to do now that Devin has a top down. But uh, you'll not find a nicer car than this. And this car is available at Hanksters in Daytona Beach, Florida. There will be about 85 to 90 photos of it up presented to you, plus the video that we just did plus interior, undercarriage, and a drive video that we're going to go ahead and present to you. So you have all the ammunition you need in your arsenal to go ahead and make a decision on the purchase of the vehicle. Hanksters, Daytona Beach, Florida. Well, this is in our 1967 Camaro convertible, red with the Z28 black striping on it. Um, this car is totally amazing. Uh, the interior of this car is the original interior in it. Uh, from what I can see, has not been replaced. It is original has the original molded door panels where most of them are cracked or distorted in some way. These are not. These are absolutely as new. All the rubber seals on the car appear to be original and they're as new. They're nice and resilient yet. Back seat, the front seat, <clears throat> and again this white accent stripe is 67 only on these cars. And uh, it's nice and clean and clear yet. Back seat has absolutely no marks or uh, Absolutely nothing in it. Driver's seat's the same way I'm sitting in it, obviously, but it's as clean and straight as this seat is. Uh, dashboard has no cracks whatsoever on it. Nice resilient dash pad yet on it. Um, speedometer, fuel gauge, um, shift on the uh, column, uh, no console. It's just a, a, a base car with a, a standard engine that you can take out and have a lot of fun with. 
The mirror is nice and clean and clear. There's no milkiness whatsoever to it. The sun visors are the original visors and uh, uh, still in excellent condition. Carpeting is also original. It has a set of carpeted uh, Camaro floor mats, uh, white Camaro on them to match the white accents in the seats. The door handles and window cranks and everything, the chrome is just as nice as it was the day it was new. No cracks on the steering wheel whatsoever, absolutely none. And uh, the deluxe wheel that came with this car, the chrome on it is absolutely stunning yet, absolutely beautiful. Uh, clear gauges, which I did state. Um, original AM radio that was uh, um, installed on this car, uh, new, in 1967. There's not a single thing out of place in this vehicle or on the outside of this vehicle. We have yet to do the undercarriage presentation to you, but I'm sure it's going to be in the same condition as the uh, interior and the exterior of this car. It's just a fantastic, wonderful car that uh, you can take out and have a lot of fun with. Um, it's a nice idling car. It has a real pretty sound to it. Uh, it's a nice car that you can enjoy and um, let your hair blow in the breeze. It's available in Hangsters. A really nice 67 Camaro convertible. Think Z28 convertible. That's what this thing, it feels like you're driving and looking at and looking over the hood, the striping and everything. Fantastic looking car. But it just doesn't have the guts that a Z28 does. But it's a nice drivable, super nice, good rumbling, deep sound. I don't know if you can hear it. Great sound on this engine. Um, nice clear gauge package. Fuel gauge is working, uh, a little under three quarters of a tank, which is unusual for us. Um, speedometer I know is going to work, Devin will show you that here shortly. The left turn signal is functioning as you can see. The right signal functioning as it should. Okay, wipers working as they should. Radio. What's the chances of radio working from 1967? Are you kidding me? The radio works. Got an AM telco radio that actually works. How about that? <coughs> Horn. Um, Horn button does work. Something I neglected to mention in our interior. Um, seat belts front and back. So you got uh, belts in the front and in the back on this particular car. Nice clean headliner on it, all new pads on this convertible top. Um, really a nice setup, I mean, really, really a nice car. Let's go for a ride, see what it runs like. Really nice running car. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but it has a great nice sound of the exhaust system, real nice. Tight steering, very precise steering system on it. When we get up over this grate, I'll let go of the steering wheel. You can see it goes straight as an arrow. Okay, no hands on the wheel. Still no hands. Let's see how it stops with no hands. <coughs> Dead stop. Speedometer does function as you can see also. <coughs> it works just fine as it should, see? Nice, it's not jumpy at all. Really nice car. Real nice car. Fantastic run of car, very precise steering in it. Uh, brakes work just as they should, nice and clean and clear and crisp. But just a great car, great running car. Has a heck of a lot of look to it. it. Looks like a Z28 convertible. They never made such a thing, but we did. Looks really good.
underneath our 67 Camaro convertible. Z28 lookalike convertible. They never made anything like that, but we got one that looks like it anyway. Uh, really, really pretty car. Uh, new shocks in the front. Uh, brand new calipers in the front. New rotors, new backing plates also for the uh, uh, rotors. So the front uh, disc brakes are absolutely new. It has an entire new exhaust system that transitions off the uh, uh, standard cast iron exhaust manifolds for this car. I'm going to call them two inch, maybe two and an eighth at the most. Uh, this is a little motor, it's a 327, so it doesn't really need much more than that. The original cooling line still intact going forward to the radiator. Subframes on this car are absolutely as new. They could not possibly be any newer than they are. Uh, no jack marks or anything whatsoever that I can detect on them anywhere. Functional parking brake, original and still functional. A um, little bit of a drip here, probably from, uh, I think it ran down over here, yeah, um, from the uh, drain plug. Next time the oil's changed, uh, we'll make sure we put a new gasket on it so that there's no uh, seepage whatsoever. No leaks on the uh, uh, transmission pan itself or the tail shaft. That is also in uh, excellent condition. Uh, Original equipment starter. Normally these things are all beaten in from uh, being jacked up through the years. This uh, cradle for the uh, engine uh, that connects to the subframes and holds your suspension. As you can see, it's really undisrupted. It's really in excellent condition. This car's had a very easy life, apparently. It does have the. It even has the original shroud yet that houses the uh, uh, side of the shifter and the transmission on this car. Really a fantastic looking. Uh, PC equipment here. Really nice original setup. Um, original spin on um, type canister oil filter that would be correct for 1967 for this engine. Still intact on the car. Floor pans are the original floor pans. They have not been replaced, nor do they need to be replaced. This car is as original underneath as it was interior wise and the ex exterior that we just uh, uh, showed you in the video. Uh, the structural supports for the base of the transmission, the, the tail shaft, uh, no marks whatsoever on it, no jack marks at all. The uh, floor pan structural bracing for a convertible is totally different than it is for a, uh, a hard top. Uh, it's m much more substantial and you can see that, you know, it has a lot of deep structural bracing with a tie-in part here that does unbolt so that you can get the drive shaft and the transmission tail shaft and everything down. But that is all intact. And again, no jack marks on it. I have no idea how this car went through a life without uh, being jacked up. It must have been driven onto a drive-on rack all its life. Where the floor pans transition to the um, um, rocker panels, all the spot welds are still evident in that. You can see them everywhere. And just as nice and clean and clear as could possibly be. I, you know, really, there's nothing I can tell you. The speedometer cable doesn't leak. Uh, the pipes you can see are absolutely as new. Uh, we got another half to go, and so far I haven't found a single thing on this car. Let's see what the second half shows us. Okay, our dual exhaust system transitions into a nice new pair of Flowmaster mufflers. Um, real nice throaty sound to it. This little motor produces a nice uh, deep rumble when it runs. Uh, it, it's not objectionably loud. A uh, very, very nice uh, sounding uh, exhaust system in this car. And again, new shocks in the back. Um, brake lines are still the original brake lines. They don't need to be addressed or replaced, as is the original fuel line. Uh, it still even has a serpentine wrapping around it. it. It's still as it was when it left the factory. A 10-bolt Chevy uh, rear end in this car. It doesn't need any more than that. It does have a monoleaf rear suspension, and the suspension still has a real nice arch to the springs, as you can see. Ventilated drum brakes in the rear. We have discs in the front and ventilated drums in the rear, which is, uh, uh, again, uh, standard equipment for this car. The uh, floor pans, where they transition up over the um, uh, differential, there's no marks, uh, no rust, no deterioration whatsoever in it. Uh, original gas tank still has the splatter undercoating in, in places on the uh, floor pans also that the uh, factory installed back in the uh, 60s, early 70s. The exhaust system transitions down between the spring and the uh, rear quarter panel drop downs as it would in 1967. 
and the drop downs and the quarter panels themselves are absolutely as they were in 1967. Really a nice looking car. Uh, and again, 10 volt rear end, then it doesn't need any more than that. Uh, fantastic car underneath. You can see everything as, as nice as it was in 67. The subframes, your, your uh, substructures on the uh, floor pan, still all nice and uh, original, not bent or jacked up through the years. Uh, one little tiny leak on that oil pan, which I think is just the uh, drain plug. Uh, whenever we change the oil, we'll just put a new gasket on it. Other than that, you can see the pan itself on the tranny, uh, the bell housing, everything appears to be dry in the vehicle. So you got a real nice undercarriage in this vehicle. Really, really a nice car.